Hello and welcome to the complete course of the Azure Machine Learning. Now we will see how can we execute our model or how do we train our model using a compute cluster of Azure Machine Learning, right? For that we will be doing everything by writing a code in Python. So there are two ways of doing it. Either we can do it directly by using an Azure portal or we can use it into a Python code. The advantage of using a Python code is you can reuse this code every time when you need to deploy or create a new workspace, right? So let's get started. So before that, I'll just open the Jupyter Notebook. So I have used my virtual environment. Here I will just mention Jupyter Notebook. And my Jupyter Notebook is open. So here you have seen I have uh, created this environment YML file. We have created train.py and the pickle file has been created, right? And uh, the data set which we have used is in a diabetes.csv. So first of all, we'll create a new Python notebook, right? I'll name it as demo. Okay, so first of all, we'll try to import few of the Azure machine learning libraries. So this library would be used to create a workspace, experiments, environment, and to configure your Python script to the uh, Azure machine learning in the form of a Docker container. So we'll try to import few of the libraries. One is import azure.core. Another one then we will import is Azure ML dot sorry ML dot core port workspace. Once the workspace would be created, we will create an environment. So environment and then we'll execute into an experiment and finally where we'll encapsulate our python trained model which we have executed in a local we'll configure it into the script run config config yes so once that is done, uh, again, we'll need to import the few libraries, ml.core, and this would be used for, uh, it would be .core.compute, right? Now, this will be used for creating a compute cluster from the Python code. Right, and execute it. So here we have seen that there, oh, there is the typo and here in here we will see the computer is in caps and then we'll try it. so we have imported our libraries so in our last in next lecture we will see how do we create a workspace using the python sdk thank you